y'all, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. In today's video, I take my 75 gallon aquarium, which used to house a very large fish, and I transform it into a terrarium. Everything you need to know about today's video will be linked in the description box below, including all of my social media pages, all of the supplies and the plants that I used. You're not going to want to miss this. So let's get started. So a while back, I had a fish in this aquarium and he passed away. Um, he was old and he'd moved from Houston up here with me. Um, and it used to be over here, but when he died, I moved all the furniture around. I shoved the sofa that way up against the windows and moved this over here. I've decided I'm going to turn this into a terrarium for right now. And so I got, well, I harvested some moss. I need to go get more, I think. I got tropical plants, potting mix, peat moss, charcoal, and gravel. Hi, Quasi Beer. There's extra dog. So I'm going to work on getting that done today. And we'll see how far I get. So first I just wanted to start by cleaning everything up with Windex. Uh, I needed to get all of the minerals and the hard water stuff off from it being an aquarium. I figure Windex is okay because I'm just going to have plants in here. I'm not going to put any animals in it. Um, at least I don't have any plans to. Uh, costume change. Um, I needed to get all of the dust and dog hair off and it was, it's still not perfect. <laughs> so I am using pea gravel uh, as the drainage layer and then I got lump charcoal just from the grilling section um, to fill in because the activated charcoal and the amount needed for the footprint and the depth, um, it was going to be exorbitant. And so after I get that all done, um, then I put in peat moss, uh, sphagnum moss, whatever. And I made sure that it was at least two inches thick. And then I started putting in the decor. I set the plants around uh, where I thought they needed to go to see if I thought they looked good and to make sure everything was balanced. So let me show you around. So, over here we have, I think this is a Fetonia. Um, some kind of Fetonia that's pink. This is a Pelea of some sort. Now, anytime you buy a plant that's exotic angel, they just make up the name. Like they may have the scientific name correct, but the common name is something they come up with usually. Uh, and half the time they're wrong anyway. Um, this is a Bromeliad, uh, Creeping Fig. That is a rabbit foot fern, another rabbit foot fern, um, some other kind of fern, another fern. What does this say it is? It's a bronze Venus fern, and that's a peace lily. So, if you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help support the channel, and it lets me know how I'm doing. And if you choose to subscribe, make sure you click all notifications. Otherwise, I will get lost on the internet. It's a huge place and neither of us really want that to happen. I had everything where I liked it and I knew it was going to look good there. Then I started planting and I made sure that everything was the right depth or that um, it was in a good place for lighting. I wanted everything to look balanced and kind of random. Um, so I got all the plants put in and I put in a bowl with some rocks in the bottom because I think I am going to put some water in that. But I have to say, <laughs> um, I, I went to Lowe's to get this grow light and it's an LED and it's a T8. Um, it's 18 Watts. The light that's in here is um it's just a regular fluorescent bulb it's made for aquariums for fresh water um but the light doesn't work and i think it's because i've had this fixture since i bought this aquarium in like 2005 or 2006 
So I don't think it's LED compatible because it'll stay on for like two seconds and then turn off. I, I don't really, there was no other option. Um, so I ordered lights from Amazon and they should be here uh, tomorrow. And then I'll give an update. Despite the bad things I've heard, I hope these lights will do well for me. You can control the amount of red, blue, and white to simulate daylight and it's got great timers. I also got new glass lids. So I harvested some of my own moss. Um, it's winter time in Texas, so the pickings are kind of slim and I didn't want to take all of what was there. Uh, so I can always go back and get more later after uh, the weather warms up. But um, I also ordered some from Etsy. So I'm gonna put these in the aquarium for right now. And I don't know when the Etsy shipments are gonna get here. Okay, so here's the final result. I've got my dinosaurs in here. I got the moss put in here. I'm gonna paint the dinosaurs, I think, because like the blue ones just aren't really doing it for me. But hopefully the moss will start growing in and then I've got the, the other stuff coming from Etsy. but I'm happy. I'm really happy. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite plant that I put in here? And what would you put in here or do differently if you were doing this at home? There is one other plant that I still want to get that I don't have yet. Um, I'm probably going to have to order that or wait for another season or go pick it up from Houston or something because I just don't have them here um, but I can't remember what it's called but it's like it's a, a plant that looks like purple velvet and it's one of those exotic angel things but um, I love them and I think they would do really well in here so uh, oh I also wanted to get um, spike moss which is actually a fern and not moss at all but um, Anyway, so let me know in the comments below what you think. What would you do differently? What should I add? Any suggestions? Any tips? Well, y'all, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then I hope you'll consider subscribing because I would love to see you back here next week when I do more stuff. Bye.